many people, the majority of people in America would ask this question that you ask. Yes, they want to know. Yeah, and many people in the world also would like to ask the question that you ask. Yes. I hope my answers will clarify their minds and maybe help them, comfort them somehow. Please watch on for the newest phone call with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled People's Hearts Will Veer the Course of Our Planet, airing today on Supreme Master Television. Warning, you might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. On November 6, 2020, during a work-related phone call with the Supreme Master Television team member, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, who continues to meditate intensively for the world, conveyed her constant deep concern about the state of the planet and the climate crisis. She also graciously answered some questions, including those about current events in the United States. Here is the extra news. Master, the yes. United States pulled yes. out of the Paris Climate Agreement, yes. and many Americans are worried about it. Sh should they be? Uh, <laughs> of course, we should worry about the climate change, but not about uh, the agreement. I, I read it, okay? I read the long and the short. Uh, oh, I, want, oh. I wanted to fall asleep. Because it's written so smoothly, good writing, and but nothing concrete. Mm. You know, there's no no saying what you have to do. Like for example, uh, try to make electric cars, yes. uh, organic farming. Yes. Stop raising animals for methane gas, okay? Because that's the most heat trapping agent, and it's the most hitting factor to our planet right now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, nothing. Just just uh, talking to a kid. Oh, you be good, and then you report to me how good you are. That's it. Similar like that. You read it, and then you know. Yes, Maybe you read true. already, and you agree with me. Hey, no wonder the Americans pulled out. It's no use. Yeah. I feel it's useless. I understand. Yeah, just a piece of essay. Yeah. Maybe it can win a <laughs> prize for literature <laughs> if it merits that that much in that category. Oh my God, I feel so frustrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if those who agreed to it even understood what is written there because it's all in kind of flowery language without any substantial indication, you know, concrete advice about what to do. Yes, Master. Just say, okay, try to mitigate the climate change, you know, uh, emission and stuff like that. Emission of what, even? Yeah. I told you already before, I mean, I told everyone before in some conference, I said, we can keep even airplane, okay? Yes, Mr. We can keep all the ships, we can keep all the cars, we can keep all the uh, trains, railways, buses, whatever, as it is, as it was even, yeah? Just stop. The methane gas produced by the livestock industry. Yes. Because this emission of CO2, of course, is bad for the air, but it's not as urgent as stopping the methane gas. Yes, Master. Because methane gas is the one heat trapping the most and it will disappear the quickest. Then the climate will cool down. Yes, Master. Then meanwhile, we can take care of, uh, of the CO2. Yes. Otherwise, CO2 will last thousand years wow. in the air, and then it, it would couple with. Oh, I'm just getting so so freaked out when you talk about it. When you ask me about it, I'm freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> I should not. I should play calm and cool, and composed, but I'm not. Okay, I can't. When it comes to life and death of millions, billions of people, you know, it, recently and present and in the past and in the future because of the meat-eating diet, because of the, the, the suffering uh, that's caused by meat-eating, uh, caused by the torturing and, and oh my God, evil treatment of the animals. Yeah. You saw all the films, yes, you saw all yes, the cuts, you know well. that. I don't have to say any more because if I say any more, I will scream, okay? Yes, I understand. Yeah. I don't know if, if the world even can be rescuable. I'm telling you, I'm so tired of that. And talking to the deaf, okay? And dumb and mute and blind. 
remember one of the the, the, the Jewish reverend scholar, he wrote a book titled uh, In Front of the Blind. Yeah, because <laughs> you see nothing if you're blind. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. If people are blind, you stand in front of them, they don't see you. Right. That's the thing that most of the people in this world, including all the governments and leaders, I'm not sorry, I'm just telling the truth. Why do you have to feel sorry when you tell the truth? Understand. Now, I know you often don't see your master like this or hear me in such a anxious voice, yeah? Yes, master. But I'm not anxious, I'm just so frustrated and so very, very sorrowful, okay? For the state of our planet and the state of our humanity in in despair, in decline and in hopelessness in the in the time of COVID nineteen. Yes, Mr. And nothing helped, nothing changed in the policy of the government. I told you this world system is hypocritical. I did tell you that. Yes. Hypocrite. Because on one hand they sign all the, the, the laws to protect the animals so that people should not harm animals, should not cause them fear or suffering of any kind. But what do they do? They massacre them and mass every day. Yeah. Some millions every day. Every day of their life and our lives. Every minute I'm talking to you. Millions of animals, you know, including fish and birds in the sky and the unborn chicks in the eggs and oh, whatever not, huh? Yes, Mr. Yeah. So how, how should I sit here and tell you, oh, they are good, they are trying their best, they are trying nothing. They are hypocrites, I'm telling you. I even want to sue them for, how you say, breaking their own laws. But I am a practitioner. I should not do that. Because I'm so agonized. I'm agonized. Yes. Anguished inside. Part of me is dying mm -hmm. because of these suffering worlds, the, the helpless animals and humans who are victims of wars and massacre, and abuse and torture for no reason. Oh, I'm just sick to my stomach, you understand? Yes, Master. When I think about that, I, I cannot cry anymore because I cry every day cry every day and I wanted even to leave this world because oh, master. I saw the bleeding pool of 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 so called world bleeding from humans, bleeding from animals, bleeding inside out from all these cruelties, all this evil madness caused by humans. So what I'm saying is I cannot blame the Americans for pulling out of this so-called Paris Climate Agreement, okay? Yes, Mr. They are contradicting themselves. They're not doing anything even on the paper, even theoretically. They're not saying anything to tell people what to do. Just say, okay, you have to try, you know, summary like that. Yes, so, And repeating again, again, and again. That's why I told you, uh, <laughs> I almost fell asleep because uh, it's so boring, yeah? Yes. So utterly boring and useless. Truly, I have no words to, to, to comment on it. It's just a waste of time and more pollution in traffic and, and airplane and whatever transportation they use to go to Paris and go there and eating meat and drinking wine and then talk blah blah and wrote the blah blah huh? yeah yeah this really ticked me off that's why I don't use any polite language in here okay yes master this word is hypocritical okay yes master hypocritical word and hypocritical people who rule all the countries I'm not saying sorry not even half of sorry, okay? Yes, Master, understand. And this is the truth. It's finally, I get to say it. I don't want to keep quiet, okay, anymore. I don't want to be polite anymore. 
Yes. Because all this doesn't work, did not work. People seem to be blind, deaf, dumb. I hope they will listen to you, Master. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> you hope in your dream, yeah? Uh, in my dream also, in my dream also, yes. We can only dream and hope. Thank you, so, Master, for all your inspiration and help. Oh, I'm trying my best, my dear, I'm trying my best. Because what else should we do, okay? We still just continue, just continue hoping, hoping things will change. Yeah. It changed a little bit, but from the people, not from the lawmakers. Yes. Because they wrote it themselves, and they did not even enforce it. And they themselves break the law every day by making suffering to the animals and allowing all this massacre and abuse and torture of the innocent, helpless, harmless animals who are the friends, the best friends of humans and the true friends of humans and all. Yes. Yes. So it's not from the government the thing we change. Only the people's hearts we change. Yeah. That they're the cause of our <sighs> peril planet. Yes, yeah. The people, they, they watch the film, they watch our TV, they see the logic of it and the compassionate indication of it. So they, they might change their hearts. And that's how people will change the life on this planet and rescue our world. Government's useless. And I'm not sorry to say that. The governments are useful in some areas, but they are useless in this respect. The most important aspect, the most important issue is that we have to keep our planet and the world people and beings on this planet, all of them. We must keep them all safe by keeping the temperature as normal, as before the climate change, or at least stop it from getting worse. Now, I don't see any governments are doing anything substantial to stop the climate change, to stop all these disasters because of climate change, to stop all the suffering, the pandemic even, (sighs) because of the livestock industry, livestock imprisonment, livestock torture, livestock massacring. Should stop that and everything else will be better and okay soon. Yes, Master. Except some of them who make peace and that is something already. Yeah? Yes. These people are to be praised for their peace-loving effort, really making effort, even those in their, you know, difficult situation or tradition, they step out of the conventional frame to to do what they think is right. These people I praise and applaud and pray to heavens to help them more, okay? Yes, Master. At least they do half of what I ask. Be vegan, make peace. Everybody else is useless, really useless, wasting the people tax money. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, Master. Um, Yeah. But Master, the livestock industry is the one who emits the most methane gas yes. and is responsible for heating up the climate the most. Yes. So why doesn't the Paris Agreement mention that or address that? Ah, because they cannot put down meat and fish and eggs and dairy products. Yeah. yeah, of course. And because the disaster has not come to their door yet. Uh, maybe come to some, but not the most, because they live in a secure, protected environment, and they are all protected with, you know, government regulation and privilege. Yes. So they don't care about the suffering of others. You understand that? Yes, Master. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's all useless, Mm -hmm. Uh, hypocritical. Okay, now you got it? Yes, Master, thank Uh, you. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? Yes, uh, Master. President Trump, um, you spoke at a news conference about uh, fraud in this presidential election, yeah. and uh, only a couple of major news media have played it. Why? You know, given all the odds against President Trump, and you know, whatever books that you say that are published out there against him, and many media against him, 
even social internet platforms against him or suppress him or delete his talk, his tweet, or don't show his speech. Instead of that, they are supporting the former Vice President Biden and even to the last minute. So anyone shouldn't be surprised if he doesn't win the election. It's a miracle already that, you know, half of the country supported him. I don't know how he has even the courage to go out and, you know, give talks and give rally for the second term. Men are really tough, aren't they? (laughs) Yes, Master. Master, is there any truth to this fraud in this presidential election? I cannot prove it to you, okay? Yes, Master. People do things behind uh, the curtain, behind the closed door. Nobody can ever tell. Yes, Mr. But maybe your system of uh, constitutional law or something like that may be able to help. And they might investigate or something. All right? Yes, Master. And it, the truth could come out. Even if I know, I cannot say anything. Yes, Master. I don't always have time to check all the news, okay? And I don't have all the apps for that. Just some apps for me to, to scan the main channels famous channels, okay? Yes, Because Master. I need to follow up with the pandemic mostly, okay? So I don't know if other channels in the United States or newspaper would even print anything. Nowadays, they didn't do much, you know, like um, I saw that they do not print or they do not uh, air the claims about Mr. Biden and his son, you know? Yes, yes. Uh, corruption stuff, they also suppress that. Yes, Master. Whatever they did, they had reason to. It's in their hands. They print or not print. They air or not air. We cannot do anything. But everything uh, good, mostly about President Trump, they suppress or they don't print much or they don't air much. Many other things that he did. For example, for COVID-19, yeah? Yes. They say he didn't do much, but he did a lot. Like uh, I read that he immediately had an urgent emergency meeting with all the business people in in your country. Mm. Yeah, to to tell them to quickly change their direction, producing uh, masks and those... uh, PPE? PPE. Yes, personal protective equipment. Normally, I never have seen the news for how many years. (laughs) It's just that because of the pandemic, I'm concerned about people, safety and children and elderly, so I have to keep scanning it, okay? And by the way, I see all this stuff, yeah? So they suppress uh, many things good about President Trump. Yes. <laughs> they suppress all the worst news about the opponents, about Mr. Biden yes. and family. But they print uh, President Trump stuff, even though it's not true or even it's bad, but just nothing big deal. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Mr. Or even if it's a big deal, they only print his, or uh, air his negative stuff. They don't air much they don't at all of, uh, of Mr. Biden's stuff, okay? Yes. Even though we don't know if it's true or not true, yeah, but they show much evidence, written evidence or computer, internet and all that stuff. They show some of it, okay? Yes, Mr. Fox News aired it, but the rest, most of them don't air or even suppress it on social media like internet. Yes. Yeah. They don't let him on. They even cut his talk and even criticize Mr. President for, for claiming falsely, yeah, about the fraud. But he did that before he even knew all the results. Yes, Mr. Not like he knows that it's bad already, then, then he, he stopped the counting, yeah? He, he ordered to stop the counting. But even then, nobody knows. Nobody can prove whether or not the President Trump has told the truth or not. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Mr. So for the media, whatever the President of the country say they should print it, air it, yeah? Yes. Because they cannot prove whether or not he tells the truth, okay? Their job is a journalist, just to, to give the news, right? Right, Master. But sometimes they uh, they spread false news instead. You know, many things are good about Mr. Trump that did not uh, air very much or did not even uh, encourage him. Like the pandemic, they say he didn't do anything and, and they blame him for COVID-19 deaths in America. But he did a lot. 
The first day is already he immediately called the businessman, tell them to change the production direction, okay? Like whatever they did before, yeah? Yes. Making blankets or clothes, whatever. Now they have to do masks and they have to do PPE, you know, or personal protection for the uh, people in the hospital, for the doctors and all that, yes? yes? And he ordered to make a lot, a lot, a lot of of uh, ventilators and uh, nobody has been denied that if they need it. That's according to Vice President Pence, yeah? Mm-hmm. And he said he's very proud of what Mr. President Trump did. Mm, yes. You know, worrying about the people, taking care of people and all that. And then at that time, even his uh, doctor, the, the national doctor, Dr. Fauci, say no need to give masks to people. President wants to give. Yes. And he even say no need. He stopped it. And he closed the border so that uh, no more imported cases. And uh, Mr. Biden uh, laughed at him, said he's a uh, public, meaning he has no guts, like a scare person or something. Yeah. He just takes like, care of people, man. Yeah. And he's been opposed all side like that. Even the Dr. Fauci is supposed to be the best in America, you know, to hold that position of responsibility. Yeah? Yes, Mr. If all this report was true, well, I heard Mr. Penn said about the president, okay, that he has done this and that and others. And he, he has uh, had like millions of masks to distribute around the country. Supposed to be everybody has five masks free of charge. And somehow it's lost, somehow it's stopped. Yeah. Maybe because somebody says something like Dr. Fauci stopped the distribution. It's already out, but it is stopped, okay? Yeah. Yes, yes. If all this is true from the price, <laughs> President Pence. He says he's very proud of what President Trump did to take care of the COVID-19. Okay, huh? Yes. And many others, uh, they do not much. They even force all the, the sick people to go back to the nursing home, infecting more of these vulnerable, helpless elderly, mm. already sick and weak, because they don't want to put them in the hospital. They want to be uh, responsible. That is the governor. This news was uh, official, okay? Yes, Mr. I see somewhere maybe he apologized or something. The president did a lot of other things, and he called all the producers of the drug company to immediately do research and sign a lot of money for them to, to do uh, research for the vaccines, yeah? Yes, Mr. And personally keep pushing it, following it up and pushing it. Yes, Mr. So many of these things, some of the media outlets did, but some don't do it, okay? Yes. Because there's just uh, maybe by us, maybe rely on the promise of uh, the other parties saying they will do this, do that for climate change. But as I told you, your first question about the climate change in Paris is, <laughs> seems like water to me. Yeah, yes. It can evaporate any time because it had no concrete measures to, to do what, what, what. Yes. I yeah. Understand. For me, if I was there, I'd just say first, Stop all the livestock rising, yeah? Because that's the number one methane emitting business that harms our planet. Yes. And getting worse nowadays, all the time now. The climate is getting worse. And all the evidence is so obvious, so plain to even children of five years old, that the climate change really is hurting our planet, hurting our people, and hurting everything else. So But it's not to blame the industry, not to blame petrol or oil industry or gas industry. If we just stop the livestock raising, then the methane will stop, okay? Yes. Mr. And then when methane stops, the climate will cool down very quickly. Yes. And then we can have time to deal with CO2, you know, carbon dioxide. Yes, Mr. But no, they scratch the itch outside of the sock. They just go around, around, you know like uh, forbidding coal mines or top oil and other industries, uh, whatever they do, okay? But even all the airplane, the ships, the train, the cars, the, uh, whatever else combined, it's nothing, just very small percentage compared to meat and gas hitting capacity. You know all that, right? Yes, Mr. I'm just refreshing you and whoever out there that might listen. You see what I'm saying now? Yes, okay? Mr. Yeah. So President Trump is really a good person, not to talk about good president. He really cares for yes. his people. And many things he does, also they don't list on the uh, internet or suppress it also 
on air. Yes, Mr. And this is not fair already. So whatever he said, they couldn't care less, okay? Either they don't like him because of our judgments or anything they don't like, or they are on the other party side, yes? yes? Or they believe that the other party candidate will do what he promised. Oh, I see so many promises. I heard so many promises. Didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Never done. But at least Mr. Trump, he's honest, you know? He promised what he did what, okay? Yes. Whatever he can in his power and in just limited four years. And with all the opposition around him, all the attacks relentlessly, non-stop. Yes, Mr. He still did many good things. I really applaud him and I thank him for the world's sake and for the American's sake. Even if he loses the election, I still thank him. I still think he is the worthwhile president of all time. I wish we had more president like that. And I'm sure if he know much more about the climate change or about the meat industry, he would stop them. Just the way he would stop every other thing almost immediately. Yes, Mr. So I will be very sorry if he lose the election. I have no way to prove it to you or anybody about what he claims or not. But he must have reason to do it. Okay, huh? Yes, Mr. And then, uh, uh, yeah, we cannot rely on anyone on this planet. That they be true and just. Okay? Yes, Mr. So we can only see what the karma of America and the world will bring to this election and every other thing that happens in our world. Got that? Yes, Master. I am sad also that they, the strong, powerful, uh, the number one economic success of the world in the world. Is that correct? America is number one, right? I, I think so, yes. And then uh, China, yeah? Mm. I am very sad that the number one country in the world in economy and uh, politics and freedom, so-called freedom and democracy, could not even be just and fair beginning with the media, okay? The media is supposed to hold unbiased, unshaken duty of telling the truth, of truth, uh, how you say, broadcasting. Yes, yeah, but I don't think they all do their job very well. Some do very well, and I thank them and praise them. Some don't. Mostly don't. Many don't. And this is a very sad affair because America is supposed to be a democracy. You know, supposed to be a democratic country, the yes. number one democratic country. And they have to drag down each other or drag down a good person, a really good and caring person just for pie in the sky when you hoping you know, or expecting something that might never come, just like empty promises. For flower in the air or by us, kind of uh, judgment, yeah? Yeah. I'm very sad. I hope that something might come out and maybe Mr. Trump will win because the world needs him, needs somebody like that. Yes, Mr. I think he's the one who, who pulled out of the climate uh, agreement in Paris, right? Yes, Mr. He's spearheaded, right? And the government agreed to that. Yeah, he's not, not care about the climate. He not care about this liquid agreement, yeah? Yes, Mr. It can evaporate any time. I, it doesn't mean anything to me either. Okay? Just talk. Just like all the laws about protecting animals, which are ne <laughs> not carry out. Okay? Yes, Mr. Maybe carry out a little bit of it. Or one zero point five percent here and there. A wild animal, you know, here and there. That's it. Yes, Mr. And even rarely. And the rest just indirectly allow or encourage or condone these kinds of cruel, inhumane and barbarous practices in the slaughterhouse and animal industry. You can see the pig yeah. has to lie in such a cage like that. Yes, it's horrible. Yeah, 15 or 20 centimeter wide and all day, all night, all his life like that. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Imagine if you are there like that, put in there like that, huh? Imagine, can you wear it? No. And then pick and poke with electric rods and then kicked and mm. slit in throats and oh my God. And peeling skin alive and what not, you know all that. So I don't think we can trust any of this political system. I trust only when I see the action. 
I don't trust any promise. Yes, Master. I don't trust any written laws or stuff like that even. They don't do anything according to the laws that they make and agree upon and sign and seal by the court, by the lawyers, by the lawmakers of their countries. Yeah? Yes, Master. Starting from the animals. Animal law, protecting law. Oh, my God. It's a laughing stock to all heavens and earth and all the angels and all the ones that saw and can read and write and understand in the right mind. Yes, Master. I, I forgot what did you ask me. Oh, man, I go on and on because every time I think of the animals, I just, I just could die with anguish and agony. Understand me? Yes, As Master. if I am the one who suffer that much. Oh my God! Okay, ask me something else or anything else. What did you ask? Did I answer you? You, you answered, Master. It was about the the fraud in the election. Yeah. Okay. It could happen, even though no one can prove it yet. Okay. Yes, Master. I, for all I cannot prove, I'm not in America. Okay. I have no power in America. I just have multi honorary citizenship, which I treasure and cherish and. I'm grateful for, okay? Yes, Master. That's why I'm trying also to talk sometimes a little bit about your country, okay? Yes, because it honors me so much. Yes, Master. I don't know if I deserve it, but I'm grateful. So I try what I can to help a little bit here and there, what I can for your country, but that's all I can do. Yes, Master. In this world, I have no political power, nothing I can change except Supreme Master Television, and we work hard day and night for it. That's the only tool we have. Apart from my lectures and every other thing, we do leaflets and flyers. Okay. All right, anything else? Uh, Master, some, yeah. I heard some news that, that there was some burning of ballots. Uh -huh. Have you heard about that? Uh, I scanned the headlines of the pandemic and I saw that also. I saw the, f the images on the news. Yes, Master. Even just a headline, you saw it already. Mm -hmm. You don't have to even go through. Well, as I told you, yes, Master. if it's true, then of course the president's uh, claim is somewhat uh, validated because you never know how much they have burned and from whose vote, yeah? And then also I saw also that the journalists and some of the supporters of Mr. Trump also are forbidden to go in where the counting area is. So they cannot even monitor it. Yes, Mister. Wherever Mister Biden's supporters are there, yes, Mister. Yeah, they are counting it or something. Then they don't allow Mister Trump supporters to go in. Yeah, and also the journalists and media to go in to to monitor the counting of the ballots. Yes, Mister. And also I saw that some double counting also because they want to do the mail-in ballot, something like that. Yes. Like it's not a person vote, yeah? So they could mail in, they could fill in the form and mail it in. Yes, Master. They first tell people to just mail it in first to see if the system works. Um. So that's the first uh, but. And then later they say, okay, and then it works, then you can mail in again. That means a double. See yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yes. And of course then for that they can discard what they wanted and keep what they wanted. No. Yeah, and it could be double counting also. Maybe that's why, uh, you know, the burning, the double counting, and the burning of all the journalists and Mr. Trump's uh, supporters for monitoring the counting of ballots. I saw yes, in the news that Pennsylvania, where they were also having some suspicion about fraud. Yes, Mr. Uh, in that state, the Pennsylvania state lawmaker uh, calls on states top election official to resign. Wow. Yeah. And another one they say, postal worker reportedly found with undelivered absentee ballots. Wow. Somebody did not deliver the absentee ballots. Uh, I think it's mail in by post. Yes, Master. And uh, one worker has been found who did not deliver them. Gosh. You got that? Yes. So what Mr. President Trump says could be true, yeah? Yes, Mr. I'm not saying it's true or not, but it could be very, very much, yeah, because of a lot of evidence, like we have mentioned before. Yes, Mr. I have another somewhere here. Uh, one moment. <sighs> okay, and in Nevada, 
Yes. Where they have also uh, some some cases of doubt about the fraud uh, of the ballots. Yes. They say Nevada GOP sent criminal referral to AG Bar, and AG Bar was that Attorney General, I think. Ah, okay. Attorney General Bar. Ah, okay. Uh, Nevada GOP sent criminal referral to AG Bar saying they have received reports of at least 3,062 instances of voter fraud. Wow. Ah, you never know, eh? Yeah. Okay. So, we just pray for the president. Yes, Master. The president, the incumbent president, for his luck to change. Yes, Master. Maybe because of that, President Trump has uh, claimed fraud. Yeah. Mm. It's possible, okay? Yes, Master. I understand, Master. Yeah. It's possible the way it is going with the media and with the suppression of the media and the social network and all that stuff. Yes, Master. And the burning uh, of the ballots and the double counting, if all that's true, and the prohibiting of the journalists to do their work in verifying the counting, stuff like that. It could be true that it could be fraud, okay? It's just that I have no way to prove it to you, okay? Yes, I understand. <laughs> I'm not in a position either, you know very well. I'm just an honorary American citizen. Mm. I do really what I can only, yeah? Yes, I pray for your country. Thank you, Minister. And for your good president, yes. incumbent president. Yes, Minister. But whatever it is, it's all... <sighs> The Americans, a uh, karma, okay? Yes. And then God's will, I mean the Lord of karma will regulate accordingly. So we can only pray, okay? Yes, Master, thank you. And we will, will not blame anyone, win or lose. Got that? Yes, Master, thank you. It's all karma, yeah, of your country's people. And the law of karma is exercised out, okay? Yes, yeah, Master. accordingly. So, all right, you happy now? Everything okay now? Yes, Master, thank you. I'm sorry, okay, for Americans being put in such a confusing situation or even maybe a court case and all that. It's, it's not a very stable uh, situation for your people, yeah, for your country. Yes. And make them worry and anxious and maybe the economy also suffers as well, yeah? Yes. And also the pandemic and many other gravious disease will be neglected somewhat. Mm, yes. That's why I also encourage people to wear masks and to protect themselves because of that. Because if we get infected to overwhelmingly, many other disease patients will be neglected. Yes, Mr. The life and death matter to them will be neglected because the hospital will be overwhelmed and the doctor and nurses and personnel will be so overexhausted or die. Many die already. Many talented, seasoned, Good-hearted doctors, nurses, personnel of the hospitals die already. Yes, Master. That will spill over also to the supermarkets and many other businesses where the workers inside have to interact multiple times all day yes. with the customers. And that puts them in terrible risk as well, despite all the protection. Yes, it's, it's scary. It will be leaking somewhere. You see, sometimes they forget to scratch their face. It's just a natural reaction. Yes, Master. Uh, I'll rub their eyes yeah. and the virus will go in from there. It's spread so fast, you know that, from some of the proof already that yes. we also air on our TV. Yes. That's why I don't understand why people don't wear masks or don't protect themselves. Yes, I, I don't either. To, to protect everyone, to protect the planet, because people are sick a lot and we also deplete our planet's resources. Yeah, and put all the business to a halt. Yes. And then the country will go bankrupt. Many countries cannot afford to continue to subsidize the no working people. Yes, Master. There's um, hundreds of thousands or, or millions or billions of them. Yes, Master. And it will exhaust the economy, the national reserve and all that. Yes, Master. Whatever. You cannot keep sitting there eating and not working forever. Yeah? Yes. In Vietnam, we say, you just sit and eat, then the mountain would also be defeated. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, be gone. Yes. The mountain would be gone. It's yes. logical. Oh, my yes. God. I'm worried so much about our world, but what can I do? 
Thanks for all you are doing. Uh, yeah, we try our best, but I wish I could do much, much more. Yes, yeah. Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you for asking all these questions. It's, I think it's important yes, for the I, people. I, Many people, the majority of people in America would ask this question that you ask. Yes, they want to know. Yeah. And many people in the world also would like to ask the question that you ask. Yes. I hope my answers will clarify their minds and maybe help them, comfort them somehow, okay? Yes. And I wish your president, the incumbent president, the best of luck, the best of support from the justice system in heaven and earth. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. God bless. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the president. God bless America. Thank you, Master. God bless our world. A profound gratitude, most humble and compassionate Master, for sharing your time, wisdom, and insights, and for your loving patience to do all that you possibly can to uplift people's minds, never giving up on us, so we will see the truth of our urgent situation and the benevolence in our souls. May your immeasurable love continue to unify us to work as one, to elevate our world and adopt the vegan way of peace while we still have time. May Master be forever protected by the mighty goddess with excellent health, peace and joy as her noble mission radiates divine light across the planet. Respected viewers, thank you for joining us today. 